There's something slightly weird going on on this server. The other day, Watson posted in our Discord that she had found this. That is an end city in the desert, which is which is pretty weird. And not only is it complete, but it's also got chests full of items. So we don't know who built this, but, uh, but yeah, interesting, very interesting. But anyway, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Olympus Craft. Today we're going to be building a whole load of farms and things that are going to help us with the construction of our mega base. Last episode we constructed this giant spike into the sky. But yes, yeah, so this is just the centerpiece for a much larger base. And I've started designing uh, the, the main parts of it in a creative world. But obviously big base means a lot of resources and especially I'm going to need a lot of concrete and a lot of sea lanterns. But luckily Sturcat also wants to build a guardian farm so we've teamed up and we're going to be doing this big project together. All right, I think this is the ocean monument we're going to go for. So the first thing I need to do is, well, I need to find some sponges, but also, yeah, I need to defeat these boys. Okay, nice, that's one. Alright, that's another one killed. Oh god, okay, uh, a lot of things. Alright, keep on hitting it, keep on hitting it. This should be the last one, yes, nice. Okay, and with that, I think all I need to do is wait for that mining with tea to finish. I made it! Hey, hello! Oh, yeah, I'm here, cool. I'm invisible, hello. The first step is just to surround it with glass. So yeah, so just kind of... Um, just surround it by it with glass. Okay. Yeah, just the entire thing. That's it. That's what we need to do for now onwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, this isn't the hardest part. Um, because then once we've done this, we need to actually drain it. And that's that's where it gets tricky. Yeah. Do I regret this time? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, for certain. <laughs> But it's a one-time thing you have to do. Yeah, but I did it like, you know, a month ago in like World oh. Hunters. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go and grab some more. The other thing I hate about villagers is how noisy they are. Oh, I have the uh, yeah. <laughs> quieter villagers. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got, uh, I got uh, 60 villagers here and they are loud. Very loud. Yep. I can do the silence meter, can't I? I just realised. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I could have had peace and quiet this entire time. <laughs> you could have not gone insane. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is good. This is so good. A whole new world. <laughs> it is. Oh my god, I can hear myself think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Now, if, if we've done this right, the guardian should only spawn inside the monument and not uh, on the outside. After a significant amount of work, we've actually got the perimeter in. We've got the glass, which is cool. And Sturcat's already started draining part of the monument. It's quite a lot of monument to go. It's a big task overall, uh, but we're going to do it and we're going to get those sweet, sweet sea lanterns. We have very nearly finished clearing the whole water at at least the top part of the monument. Look at that, we only got one more row left. So we need to do that and then it's just a question of taking down the actual blocks and clearing out the water from inside. So still a lot to do really, uh, but definitely much closer than when we were earlier. And honestly, I am so sick of sand and water, so I'm quite glad that we are nearly finished that step. After some more work, we have managed to clear all of the monument and we're now just putting down this layer 
before we construct the actual structure above it. I need soul speed. Oh, well, luckily, there's a shop <laughs> that sells a... <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I, I had a deal with uh, with Hell. He's, he supplies me with uh, the books. There's some lapis as well, so we can make the. There you go. This is just temporary storage. We'll we'll obviously add in some. Uh, we need more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll make a sorting system eventually. Just um, um, not this second. No, oh, well, they're definitely. So spoiling. the other one is okay. Uh, I just need to fix it a second, but it's, it's nearly done. Yeah, but this is okay. Yeah, so the one I'm not, not currently fighting guardians in is fine. Uh, don't like this. Come on. Oh, I'm just literally spamming sponges because it's the only way it's working. So, I think, I think that's done, basically. Um, I'll do the sorting system later. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think we've done it. After a whole lot of work and uh, yeah, definitely was a lot of work second and i have finished our guardian farm it's got a storage system and everything it's got an afk platform at the top and and it works it definitely works we have a large amount of stuff ready to go and in fact we have a lot of stuff already ready to be sold uh, as you can see here um so the next step is to actually build a little shop where we can uh, yeah, we can start earning some money. So after a bit of designing and constructing, we finally have a shop. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with this. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's a little ocean monument, which is fun. And we are selling prismarine blocks. We've got a quite a lot of stock that we can try and sell. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. And uh, hopefully now we won't need any more sea lanterns. Wait, that's not my shocker box. What's that? Tick tick. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? I don't like this. Yeah, skulk sensor goes off. Lights up this, which starts dispensing something. I'm guessing TNT. That would make most sense. I think this is Cory. I think this has to be Cory's prank. Um, yes, it has to be because me and Code tried to prank him. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, Cory, this didn't really work. I'm afraid. Uh, bit of a shame. <laughs> right now that I finished that ocean monument, which took a long time, I think it's time to do something different. And I thought something that I haven't done this season yet is find an ancient city. And I still don't have that very sweet swift sneak. So I need to go and find myself a book. Oh look, I've stumbled across uh, a mangrove biome. This does look pretty cool. I've not actually explored one of these before. You know what? I do kind of like it. Oh, you could really get lost in this biome. Hello, Frogatons. <gasps> okay, here we are. Right. I'm inside one of the ancient cities and I need to find the swift book but in order to do that I need to be very quiet because I don't want to trigger any skog sensors and we have a mod which activates if I speak too which activates if I speak too loudly <laughs> That was a shrieker. Damn it, that's the second shrieker. The next one's gonna spawn the warden. Oh god, that's the warden. Was that the warden? I don't think that was the warden. Oh, I did not like that. Oh, there's a chest. Shh, let's see what's in the chest. Oh no. Oh no, he's emerging, he's emerging, he's emerging. No, 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 I need to run, I need to run, I need to run. I need to 
run. There we go. I, I died. Ah, oh, that's a nuisance. Okay, rescue mission is a go. We did that. I'm going to put a chest. I'm going to chuck in the elytras because I don't want to lose those as well. Well, that's fine. I died. That's... Oh. Oh, that's my bucket down there, isn't it? Okay, let's keep on going. Wait. Oh no, did everything despawn? Oh, everything despawned. But, in good news, that means I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> so I'm on the plan B. Different. Right, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, what do I get? Book. Quick sneak too. Right, okay, well that's quick sneak gotten. And now I guess I'm gonna die. Right, that's one, and then the other one should be coming soon. It's destroyed this in the meantime. Right, didn't do it. That's fine. Oh god, I'm still here, I forgot. Oh, this does feel like a horror game at this point. Oh, there we go. That's of course what was gonna happen. Dumb. Okay, never mind. But we're gonna destroy as much as we can while we're here. <laughs> this is just preparing for next time we come. Loyalty. Really? Look, that's me dead, basically. Oh no, I've fallen in lava. Ah. Uh, Oh well. <laughs> I spent this morning remaking all of my gear, which uh, which was quite annoying to do. And I've actually come up with an idea. If I use night vision potions, I should be able to get through this uh, this horrible place much quicker. I mean, that is significantly better than before. You can definitely see everything now. And I've gone in with nothing because I kind of expect to die, to be honest. Um, but every time I come in, I make a tiny bit more progress destroying a few more different shriekers um, which obviously makes it easier to go through this whole place so I did look up and apparently the the book I have oh, oh apparently the book I found is only level 2 and we need level 3 so I need to find either another level 2 book or just directly a level 3 book well that's one shrieker less Of course. Okay. Oh, no dogs, that's good. An echo shard. Oh, that's a little screech creaker. Oh, but that's a chest there. Right, I'm gonna come back to this point in a minute. I mean, other sides in there. Yep, that's fine. So here I am, I respawn here. I can go out again and pick up my other potion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, what? I'm st two enchanted golden apples. How? Well, we're definitely putting these in the chest. By this point, I've taken out a lot of shriek. Oh god, there's more down there. Okay. That's fine, break that. Right, he's gonna kill me. That's okay. There we go. Right, I'm nearly dead, so I'm just gonna take out as many shriekers as I can. And uh, then return. That's fine. 
Right, I have returned, and this time I've come very, very prepared. Huh. Yes! Oh my god, and there's also two more apples. That's insane! Right, we're grabbing this and we're running. Right, we got it. And we're gonna go out as quickly as we can. Oh man, that was awesome. So we've got like a load of apples from that and we've got a sneak free book, which is very exciting. <laughs> Corey has uh, has changed the entrance to the shopping district and it looks incredible. It's it's a donut because it's donut falls. Oh man, it's fantastic. I love that. That's great. So from that adventure we managed to find some pretty good stuff. We've got Swift Sneak. And especially Swift Sneak Free, which is pretty cool. We also have enough to make another Swift Sneak book in case we do need it. We've got four of Enchanted Golden Apples, which is crazy. We've got the Other Side Music Disc, which is super rare. We've got two Skeleton Skulls. We've got a load of Echo Shards. We've got some Music Disc Fragments. And in fact, I believe, yes, I can craft a Recovery Compass now. Which points to the last place where I died. So let's quickly go and put this Swift Sneak on. Okay and we've got it so now look at this i'm sneaking look at this look how fast i can sneak that's awesome and with that i think it is the end of today's episode i hope you have enjoyed it if you have please remember to comment like and subscribe thank you all for watching and until next time bye